Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here, welcome back to another Overwatch video. The Summer Games have now gone live and in this video I want to show you guys all of the new skins. Now just before I get started I want to make a quick apology because this is actually a re-upload. I made a mistake in my original video, I went through and I missed some of the skins so I said that there were only skins for three of the characters but that is not actually the case. There aren't skins for all the characters, sadly, but there are more than three. So. With that being said, this is the complete list. So if you do enjoy this, then a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below and let me know what your favourite one is, but let's get started. So if we jump into the hero gallery and start with the three from the main page, so you have Tracer, and if you go to her skins and you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll find two skins down here. Sprinter, this is her GBR one, because of course Tracer is English, so she has this really cool British flag on the back, like a little cape. She has her running shorts, her shoes speedy goggles and whatnot this is a really really cool skin i do really like this one but she also has her track and field one and instead of having the gbr flag she has the summer games flag so that's super cool i definitely prefer the first one and of course she's also got a timer on her chest as well so yeah that's a super super cool skin but if we then jump back from her and take a look at azaria she of course has her weightlifting ones again these ones are right at the bottom champion is her first one this is or like you know Predominantly white, she has the weightlifting belt, she has the knee braces, her hair's all tied back and whatnot, looking pretty cool, but probably my favourite one, the weightlifter, all in red this time for, you know, obviously for Russia, again, same principle, weightlifting belt, knee braces, massive boots, but that is Zarya. If we then jump back from there and go to Lucio, this is again the other one you would have seen on the front page, again scrolling all the way to the bottom, you have the first one, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that, because I will no doubt butcher it. But this is him in his football costume, football shorts with a number on the side. Again, his patented like rollerblade, so to speak. Balls in a net on the back and his hanging down gloves as well. The way they kind of shake is kind of cool as well. And if you then go down to Striker, a much more sort of modest pale white colouring kit. Again, matching the sort of summer games with the emblem on the shoulder. Of course, if you spin around, red and white gloves. But that is, that is Lucio. So those are the ones that I showed in my original video. However, some of the other ones, I actually missed them because they are not all the really rare skins. If we go to McCree for example and you go down to skins, if you go down to here the American this is actually a new skin again only available in the summer games pack. If you spin around you can see of course he has the American cloak on which looks super cool. He's also got a nice kind of red arm there with a the skull on it which looks super cool and then the rest of it is pretty standard plus of course the coloring on the gun. That's really cool. He's only actually got one so unlike the other ones there isn't quite as much uh, variety for him. You then jump back and go to Genji. There is another one for him. Again, going down to Nihon over here. This is, this one is super cool. This is probably, I've always been a fan of just Genji's base model. I've never really been a fan of his slightly more exotic skins, but this one is so cool. It's all white, but with hints of red. Of course for Japan, so he's got the Japanese symbol on his chest plate. He's also got the writer for Japan there as well. And he's got a red bandana instead. Massive white sword in the back. This is definitely one of my favorite ones. It's super modest, but it's also really, really cool. Then if we go and visit Torbjorn, he also has one, again, about midway down, the Chrono or Trichrono. This is his kind of representative color, blue and yellow, spinning all the way around. So, of course, do bear in mind, without them being the ultra rare skins, they're not going to be quite as drastic as Zarya, Tracer, and Lucio, but they are still, still pretty cool. And if we go to Widowmaker, and then go down to skins, you will see Tricolore, she has a... Uh, French colours there, which is uh, blue, white and red. Of course, that looks pretty cool on the back. Similar colouring on her gun as well. You can see the sort of flag there. But that's pretty much it for her. Then there are a couple more to go through. Diva, she has one. This is her one down here. Again, I'm not going to try and pronounce that because that is Korean and I'm going to butcher that one. But this is uh, pretty cool. Again, base model. Uh, blue colouring this time, Korean flag up there. She has a... Uh, I really like her suit in this one, the sort of red and white one. I'm a... Uh, not a massive fan of the blue sort of mech, but still, this is this is a pretty cool colour scheme. So that is, of course, her. Spin around there, you can see it in all of its glory. And if we then jump back and go to Mercy, and then go to her skins, and go again down to this one. This is uh, this is actually pretty cool. Red is one of my favourite colours, so generally speaking, anytime there's sort of a red colour scheme, I'm okay with that. So red and white is pretty nice, especially on the wings. You have this sort of almost brushed metallic look, look to it as well. So that's uh, that is super nice. Now, one thing worth calling out as well, if I return to one of the characters and go back to their skins for a second, you will notice, however, if you scroll all the way down, that these ones do not have prices on. As mentioned in my earlier video, you can't buy these ones with in-game currency. In order to get these, you have to get them out of the loot boxes, which you can either earn or you can buy them 
with real money. But either way, you can't buy these with in-game credits, so these ones will have to be unlocked through those. And while it is a shame that the other characters don't have skins, some of them do have some additional things. So if we go to Winston, for example, and you go to his sprays, then you've of course got the basic Summer Games emblem here, but you also have, say, Winston Volleyball down here. Now this is one of the ones that made me super sad because when I did see these pictures this morning before all these skins went live, I was kind of hoping that these were all going to be skins for the characters because this one especially kind of reminds me of Beast from X-Men, so that would have been really cool to have. But sadly, it's not a skin. So some of the other characters do have sprays, for example, jumping to Zenyatta. You have his uh, Taekwondo spray down here. And there are, of course, loads of other ones as well. McCree, for example, sprays down here. He has an... Uh, where's it gone? An equestrian one. There you go. So each of the characters do have sprays, as mentioned. In fact, if you look at the information they released with this patch, then there are supposed to be 90 items in total. That will, of course, include the new skins plus the sprays. And there are also some emotes. So, for example, I actually got one of these out of a box. This ribbon one. This is a special one for Zarya. And that is, of course, tied to the Summer Games. So... That's pretty much it for the time being. This video was just focused on showing the skins. Again, I do apologize for the previous upload making a mistake, but this is the correct version. So hopefully you guys do enjoy the video. Let me know in the comments down below which ones you like. Also, let me know if you guys have had a chance to play Lucio Ball, the kind of three on three football mode. I will probably do a video for that on the second channel tomorrow. Sort of more of a let's play, having fun with that one. So do stay tuned for that. If you haven't seen the second channel, then you can find a link to that in the description box down below. But thanks for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.